What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video on my channel. Um, we got a special one today, one that y'all have been asking for quite a bit in the comments. I've been waiting to get my full Callaway set to actually do this video, but it is a what's in the bag video. Super excited to show y'all what I got. We went to Callaway out in San Diego, I guess that was about a month ago now, a little more than a month ago, and um, finally got fitted for everything, and then finally everything came in last week, or maybe a week and a half ago. So finally got the full set of Callaways besides the good good putter of course and um, yeah just want to show you, show you guys what I got first of all just brand new Callaway golf bag got in a couple days ago um, I was using that little walking bag for a while and it was not very good to use in the golf cart super happy to have that you got the name on it and everything so that's pretty sweet first of all 60 degree the Callaway jaws raw um, I got 10 degrees of bounce on this thing and I got the J grind, which honestly, I'm not sure. I know the toe's a little higher on the J grind. It goes just a little more pointed that way. It's not quite as squared off on the top. I'm still I'm, I'm still trying to figure out whether I really like this grind or not. I love the wedge. It spins great. It feels good off the face. Um, just through the grass. I'm still not quite sure if this grind is for me. I'm gonna keep messing around with it, keep, uh, keep playing with it. And uh, obviously if I need to change something, I will let Callaway know and we'll figure that out. But, um, that's something with my 60 degree. I'm obviously I had a lot. Of, I manipulate the club face a lot in short game shots. I really need something I can trust and really love when I'm setting up over the ball. So sometimes it takes a little while to kind of find that perfect fit for me. But um, we'll figure it out. Next up is the 56 degree. Also jaws raw, J grind, 10 degrees of bounce. Same thing as the 60 degree. Obviously I don't open. I don't use this club around the greens as much as I use a 60. So I'm not having to open it up quite a bit. But so far I like it a lot. Again, got the high toe because it is a J grind. Next up, we got the 50 degree, which is actually the S grind. It's a little more conventional looking wedge. It doesn't have the full face of grooves. It's very conventional, which obviously I'm mainly just using this for fuller shots, wedge shots. Obviously I'd rather just have a club that looks a little more normal, what I'm, uh, what I'm used to hitting when I'm looking down on it. And then another big thing that I did with this set, this is a 46 degree wedge. So this is a 46 degrees is a pitching wedge. Um, all my life, I've always just used the the iron, you know, the, obviously the set type of uh, iron pitching wedge. So this is the first time I've actually used the wedge type pitching wedge, if that makes sense. Obviously, same loft as a pitching wedge. Uh, I just thought it felt a little bit softer off the face, which I was liking when I was getting fitted, just because it is a little bit different feel, um, a little different build than a normal iron set pitching wedge. So. Um, I've loved it so far. It might go just a little bit shorter than uh, if I had gotten the iron set pitching wedge, but loving it and um, it's been feeling great so far. Next up, we have the Callaway Apex CBs. Just a beautiful looking iron. Um, I went three through nine iron. Obviously, like I said, the pitching wedge is more of a wedge. They, they feel amazing. When I was getting fitted, uh, I actually ended up going a half inch longer because which when I went into the fitting, I was not worried about distance at all. I wanted to be more consistent with my distance. I didn't care about getting longer, but we saw that with a half inch, half inch longer shaft, I actually did gain a few more yards with distance, but it stayed consistent. And also for some reason, just setting up to it with a half inch longer, um, just felt a little more comfortable. So half inch longer than, I feel like I've said that a million times, but half inch longer than my previous set. Full dynamic X100s. And that's also, that's the same shaft I have in the wedges as well. That's what I've used X100 since I was, I think, 13 or 14 years old. So, um, just something I've always used. I'm used to it. I'm comfortable with it. So, didn't want to change that up. With the previous set I had, I saw myself, I would hit this random shot where I closed the club base maybe just a little too much. And all of a sudden, it would go like 10 or 12 yards further. And it might not seem like a huge difference, but if you have a six iron in your hands from 200 yards out, you all of a sudden hit a shot that goes 12 yards further. You're long, short-sided, easy bogey, easy double. Um, and now I'm seeing that less and less with these irons. If I turn it down a little bit, it might go three or four yards you know, longer, not 12. So I'm really liking the consistency of these, and they just look amazing when you look down on them. Club face is a little dirty, but that's just a good-looking iron. Um, super solid-looking, very sleek. I got the CBs because they do have a little bit of extra forgiveness on the back, but when you look down on it, it looks like it's a pretty much straight up, bl uh, straight up blade. I love the blade look, but I also love the forgiveness that the cavity back gives you. Next up, um, we have the Callaway X Forged UT. It is their utility club, and I got the 16 and 19 degree, and uh, both of these are the same, same exact club, 
Mask of Aventus HB. I don't know, I'm, I'm sure this probably has some special name to it. I am the worst when it comes to like golf equipment, knowing my golf shafts and stuff. I kind of, when I'm getting fitted, I just kind of hit whatever they put in my hands and it feels good and looks good and it's flying well. I, I, I like it. So um, I'm not the smartest when it comes to knowing the different types of equipment. I love having a utility club in my bag, a driving iron type club in my bag when I'm playing a tight course, I need to hit a lot of fairways or I'm just more of an iron guy. I'm not really a hybrid person. Never really liked hybrids. If I'm in that 250, 240, 250 range, these are gonna be great clubs to use that in instead of a hybrid, just because I'm not a huge fan of those. So um, these have been awesome so far. Again, I think these are both, I think this is more of a two iron, the 16 degree, the 19 iron is, 19 iron, 19 degree is more of a three iron. Um, I still need to, I need to, I just got these, like I said, so I still need to figure out exactly how far these go. But when I have hit them, they fly great, really good trajectory. They feel amazing off the face. And also, I have 16 clubs in the bag right now um, because, and that's fine, but it's, that's kind of what I've always done. I've always had 16 clubs that I'm ready to use. It just depends. Like if I go to, if I went to a tournament, I would look at the course, scout the course, see which clubs I needed to use. And then I'd go take out a three wood for that week, or maybe I'd take out both of these for that week or maybe I take out one of these and take out something else so that's just something that's kind of a tournament to tournament course to course type thing but if I have all these in the bag I have 16 clubs I know those two too many but um that's all right we're playing on the YouTube tour now so that's okay next up we have the three wood which is actually a five wood so funny thing when I was getting fitted at Callaway uh I was hitting the three wood of this same exact head just a 15 degree three wood and I was absolutely hammering it. I was going, I think I was flying at like 290, 295, which is just way too far. It made the gap between the two iron and the three wood way too much. Just, I, I wanted something that could carry more about 270. And so we settled on this 18 degree five wood, um, Callaway Paradigm Triple Diamond. And it feels amazing off the face. I have absolutely love this thing. Got the Ventus TR, again, might be a different name for that. I don't know. <laughs> this thing, and it sets up amazing. That just has a really good look when you set it on the ground. And one thing I really look for in a three wood is you can have some three woods that have a very deep face that are great when you're hitting off a tee. Um, it just sets up a little more like a driver and it just looks like you can hammer this thing off a tee. But then when you get it on the ground in the fairway, it looks like you can't get the ball up at all. And um, then you also have the opposite. Sometimes three woods have too shallow of bases where you feel like you can get it off the ground great, but then off the tee, um, just doesn't set up all that great. So this, I think this is a great mixture of, it's not too shallow, it's not too deep of a face, and it sets up um, in a way where if I'm teeing the ball up or hitting off the ground, I feel like I can still get it up in the air with not much spin and uh, hit it really solid. So also extra stiff, like I said, X100 shafts in the iron, so those are extra stiff. Um, extra stiff in the two and three iron, extra stiff here. Um, I think I'm extra stiff all throughout the bag. So, um, but yes, this is a great club. I've, absolutely loving this so far that I've had it. Yeah, five wood, no three wood in the bag, just a five wood, that is my three wood. All right, last up, but the one y'all probably wanna see the most is I do have the uh, the Callaway Paradigm Triple Diamond. I've had this one in the bag the longest out of all the new clubs I have. It's got the Tensi, again, I'm sure this blue part makes it like a Tensi blue board or blue ribbon, there's probably some name for it, I don't know. But um, there's a specs right here, it's Tensi, 60 gram, two or extra stiff flex. Um, great shot. This is actually the first time I've ever used this shaft. Funny story, um, when I was going on the trips with Quan over the summer, I had the PXG driver still in the bag, and uh, and so Quan's driver, I would hit it every once in a while just on the course just for fun, and I absolutely loved it. Like, I was hitting his driver amazing. So I actually just asked Callaway for whatever Quan had. I want the exact same thing. They got it to me while we were in England um, out at the Open, and whenever I got fitted for Callaway a month ago, um, I was sitting it on the launch monitor and they said that driver is set up and fit perfect for you. So we did not change a single thing, still using that same driver. Um, he was actually amazed that just me hitting Quan's driver turned out being the perfect fit. So me and Quan have the exact same driver in the bag. Nine degree, I have it set up neutral right now, but I love this thing. I mean, this thing is super hot off the face. I feel like it, um, my miss hits are so much better, my toe balls, stay in the air a little bit longer, um, still have that roll out, but they go a little bit further and the heel balls don't seem to want to curve quite as much as they, as some of the other drivers I've hit in the past. So loving this driver, standard length. Yeah, uh, this thing is probably my favorite addition I've had in the bag so far. That was not the last one, this is the last one. Almost forgot about the putter. Yeah, I have that good, good head cover on it, of course. And I am using the mallet. 
Y'all probably seen me in the videos on my channel and on Good Good recently. Um, this putter's great. I, I'm, I got, when I first got the Good Good putter, I got this and the blade. I just didn't know which one, because I've, I've been more of a blade guy in the past, but I do like the look of this mallet quite a bit. And uh, right now I'm using this. I could end up switching the blade soon, I'm not sure. But i um, still trying to get dead set on what I want to use. But it's a 30, it's 34 inches, I think. Um, pretty positive it's 40, 34 inches. But this thing, it feels amazing off the face. I am raving about it. I think it has that perfect mixture of being able to come off softly off the face, have that really good feel when you're, when you're actually putting the ball, when you're hitting the ball. But it's not too soft to the point where you feel like you have to hammer putts. It kind of, it kind of hits that middle ground where it's not too firm, not too soft. Um, it just feels really pure when you hit a good putt. And I'm loving this thing. I've had this in the bag for the last two or three months now. So um, yeah, I'm loving it. And uh, I don't plan on changing it anytime soon. All right, well, that is what's in the bag. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching. I know, like I said, y'all have been asking for this quite a bit. And uh, I've been wanting to make this video. I just knew that I was about to switch my entire bag up soon. I didn't want to make one and then all of a sudden you see me playing different clubs in the videos. So um, but this is the set. This is what I'm going to be using for a while now. And I'm loving it. Uh, hit the driver in hand. Again, I love this club. Make sure you like this video. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you are notified for my future videos. Super excited about these clubs. These things are awesome. Hoping they're going to equal a lot more lower scores in the future. But uh, thanks again for watching. Peace.